Good morning. Welcome to Fox 5 Morning. I'm Maureen Ume. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's what's happening today. We begin this morning with the D.C. region preparing for its first winter storm in two years. But what we see later today depends on where you live. Let's get right to our team coverage this morning. Aisha Khan is out on the roads this morning checking out conditions. But we begin with Fox 5's Gwen Talbert with the latest track of the storm. And Gwen, I'll let you get right to it. Good morning. Good morning to you, Maureen. Well, you know, I'm telling you, uh, today is a day where we want everyone to be totally weather aware and weather alert. And stick with us here on air and online because we're going to give you the latest hour by hour as this all develops. Tracking the winter storm, yes. And you know what? We've been having people saying we want the snow and just haven't had it yet. We're not going to have a whole lot for everybody, unfortunately. Snow lovers in the district, I-95 and south, you're not going to get what you asked for. But if you go to the far west and to the north, there you're going to see it. So snow mix on the onset for D.C. and Metro. So we're going to see some snow mixing with some freezing rain, a bit of sleet before it changes into all rain. And that's what we're talking about for the D.C. corridor, changing to all rain at least by about midday around lunchtime or so when we'll start to see that kicking in. However, for areas to our far north and to our west, that's where we're going to see the highest snowfall totals. And that's where it's going to actually stay as snow for a longer period of time. And that's just because we don't have enough cold air at the surface for it to stick. And we're going to start to see those temperatures rise. And that's going to make that changeover into rain happen. But on the onset, we will see that wintry mix. We're talking snow. We're talking sleet. We're talking some freezing rain. So ice could also be a factor. So keep that in mind as you're heading out. Hopefully you won't head out today. It's not a good day. Right now, 36 degrees, not much happening. But if you take a look at our satellite radar composite, you're going to see there's not going to be anything that's really into our immediate area at this point. Look at the temperatures. Coldest air out to the west right now, into the 20s, 36 in the city, 31 at Gaithersburg. But look at the moisture, all the precipitation. It's all coming from the Gulf states, from the deep south, moving its way from the southwest off to the northeast. And this is the pattern that we're going to see. But you can see how far away it is from us right now. We're not seeing any of it in our immediate area. So as the morning progresses, this is going to continue to fill in. That cold air is in place, as we said. It will warm up a little bit later on today, and that's going to make the difference with this low-pressure system in terms of what we're all going to see. The D.C. corridor, we'll see that I-95 and to the south. Starting off as a bit of mix, lower southern Maryland areas in the deep south, you're only going to see it start as rain. You're not going to get that mix. That's going to be short-lived before it changes over into all rain. Then, as we go further to the west and north, Mason-Dixon, a wet panhandle into Washington County, parts of western Loudoun, we are going to see a whole different ball game. We're going to see more of a mix there hanging a little bit longer, but then out to the west, it's all going to be snow. And that's where we're looking at the accumulations happening. And here's a look at what we're talking about in terms of watches and warnings right now. We have a winter weather advisory, but if you notice, it does not include the district. Everything to the west of there and to the north is where that advisory is in effect, from Loudoun to Fauquier to uh, Stafford County. And then the winter storm warning, more to the north and more to the west. This is where that accumulation is going to happen. So, as I said, if you're hoping for snow in the district, you're not going to get it. Just a slushy trace is what we're talking about on the onset, that mix that's going to be out there that's always going to be messy on the roads, but the roads are treated, but any untreated roads could get a little bit slick. And then a slushy two to four inches more to the west of that. And then this is where that accumulation happens. Up to four to eight inches is possible as we take a look over the higher elevations, over the mountains, even in through Washington County, Hagerstown, you're in the line of fire for that. Anywhere along I-81 corridor and towards areas of the west is where we're talking about that snow accumulation. It's just going to be a real mess as far as the D.C. I-95 corridor is concerned. Lower southern Maryland, we are talking rain. Once this all changes to rain, it's going to be moderate to heavy rainfall before it all ends. And uh, we'll see that happening as we get into the later part of the evening tonight. Ice is also going to be a factor, and that's something we definitely want you to watch out for if you are going to be in any of these areas from Leesburg through toward areas of the West. So keep that in mind. Let's check in with Aisha now and see what's happening out there in the area where she is and how they're doing with the roads. Hey there, good morning to you, Gwen. Uh, we're in Frederick County. We are just driving around in Frederick County. I'm going to switch our camera so you can kind of show you. Uh, quiet for the most part, uh, you know, except for some of the uh, 
uh, snow plows that we uh, saw were already driving around. And uh, listening to you, Gwen, you know, it seems that uh, it won't be long before we start seeing some changes in our weather. But uh, yeah, right now, pretty quiet. But as we continue to drive around in Frederick County, you know, we also learned that it has been a while since this area has experienced accumulating uh, snowfall. Uh, so while the county has been treating roads, they're also encouraging people to, you know, take part in safety. Uh, now, the pre-treatment for the roads, that started as early as Wednesday in Frederick County. And according to the county, crews uh, used salt brine. Um, you know, that's a liquid salt mixture that they say, um, you know, when applied before the snowfall has been proven to be more effective um, than using just rock salt. Also, just a few things to share with our viewers from the Frederick County Sheriff's Office. Uh, number one, you know, stay off the roadside if you can, but if you have to be out, um, then slow down because it is harder to stop or control your vehicle on a slick surface. Uh, increase your following um, distance so you have plenty of room um, to stop. Don't crowd a snow, a snow plow or travel beside it. You know, give them plenty of room and use caution if you decide to pass it. Um, and of course, make sure your tire pressure is correct in each of your tires. Cold weather seems to definitely affect tire pressure as well. All right, so Gwen, we're going to continue to keep an eye on the roads uh, and see if there's any other snow plows or salt trucks that are out there right now but like I said it's been pretty quiet for the uh, for, for most of the part the other thing I do want to mention check your cars system I've been a victim of this not knowing if it's four wheel or all wheel drive so that definitely makes a difference when you're driving out on the road um, of course also check your uh, windshield wipers and your fluids I know my windshield wipers have been making some noise so <laughs> should have get that gotten checked but uh, good good pointers to keep in mind Maureen yeah indeed it is all right never too early to be prepared so thank you for those tips this morning, Aisha.